Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 22nd of July. A lot of showers and storms today, but mainly down across the southern half of the state. But they're working north, and some of you might get wet later this evening or tonight. Check some of the Skycam shots around the network this Friday afternoon. We'll kick things off with the view coming from Tuscaloosa. From the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse, looking off to the east, off in the distance, you can see Bryant Denny Stadium. From East Alabama, Mount Cheehaw, always a good place to be on a hot summer afternoon. They're only in the 80s up there, despite the sunshine. Of course, the elevation, the reason for that. And way down south, a look at Greenville, Alabama. That's a view there from City Hall. You know, my first grade classmate, Dexter McClendon, is the mayor of Greenville. Yeah. And it's raining there, and they've got the temperatures in the 70s because of the rain. Water vapor satellite shot, pretty familiar scene, ridging over much of the nation. It's hot in a lot of places, but uh, the good news, the westerlies have dropped a little farther south, giving some relief to our friends up in places like Minneapolis, Milwaukee, and Chicago. But despite all the hot weather around the nation, our numbers are just not that bad. Those are 2 o'clock readings, mostly low 90s. Uh, around here, ranging from 90 to 93, the hot spot up in the Shoals, where they've got 94. But around the nation, yeah, man, it's cooking. Out west on the... Uh, Kansas, Oklahoma border, 102. Looks like 101 is the peak of the heat around Delaware and New Jersey. So, but again, notice the nice cooler air dipping down into the Great Lakes in the upper Midwest and really cool up in Canada. I see some 40s up there at mid-afternoon. Around the nation, a couple of severe weather boxes up north. Got a, a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Indiana and Ohio and this tornado watch for parts of eastern Montana. Yeah, that's until uh, 9 o'clock mountain time tonight. You know it's got to be July when you see watches in places like that. In fact, there's a moderate risk of severe weather up there for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. There's the day two outlook, slight risk for the upper Midwest. QPF rain about one inch here. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. And uh, every day we'll see scattered st showers and storms out there. Uh, we know that in this muggy air, just a matter of placement, and we can't tell you exactly when or where it's going to rain, but it will along the way. Tropical weather, you know, Brett and Cindy are just kind of off the board. Brett is dissipating. Cindy is becoming extra tropical in the North Atlantic. No threat to land. The one to watch is that wave approaching the uh, Leeward Islands. The guys at uh, NHC have a 20% chance of that getting its act together, and looks pretty uh, pretty uh, d decent on the satellite image today. It's fighting some dry air around that, but uh, it's got a fighting chance of making it. And, uh-oh, some of the modeling is picking up on this thing. The, the BAM set, the uh, shallow, middle, and deep, all of them are taking it toward Hispaniola and Cuba, including the statistical model, the Clipper. And you know what happens? A number of things can happen. Number one, it can dissipate over the mountains of Hispaniola. Or from there, it can recurve into the Atlantic or shoot the gap into the Gulf. We just don't know yet. But uh, when you start to see them like that, you know, August must be getting close when the season really tends to heat up. Check the GFS. This is the OZ run, or I'm sorry, the 12Z run, valid at 7 o'clock local time tomorrow evening. Winds aloft, light and variable. Moisture down below. Typical summer day. Partially sunny, hot, humid. Chance of scattered showers and storms. Sunday, same thing, very moist. Monday of next week, again, uh, highs, low 90s, mix of sun and clouds, scattered showers and storms. Tuesday, got a light northerly flow aloft and uh, some drier air trying to nose in with some subsidence up to the north. And Wednesday, uh, if the GFS is right, the uh, uh, moisture starts to thin out, the showers begin to thin out. And, you know, it's been very consistent, this idea, for a while. There's Thursday. Again, looks pretty dry. And a week from today, ooh, the old 594 ring is overhead. That'll be pretty hot if that's right. Mid to upper 90s with only isolated showers and storms. But that could change. You know, I mean, uh, we, we've not seen a whole lot of uh, consistency there. End of the forecast is August 7th and uh, westerly dipping a little farther south. And again... Classic case, scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters will have the updates by video tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news. 
in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.